If you haven't seen the series yet, The Chosen, you have to see it. Go download the app on your smartphone, your smart device on Apple or Android. The series The Chosen is a series on the life of Jesus. So I encourage you to go download it. Today we have Jonathan Rumi with us. This is a second part of our interview with him. It's only going to be a little clip, so watch it. And if you want to watch the rest of it, it's going to be on Life on the Rock. You know, j maybe just start with episode one. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of paint a picture for our audience? You know, what what the director and the producer was trying to get across in this first episode. So with episode one, uh, episode one is, was essentially a starting point for the series, for mm -hmm. the story, to to really give uh, viewers an introduction to first century Galilee. Uh, what was life like for the people that lived there? What were the politics of first century Galilee? What was the Roman occupation? What, what might that have looked like? Mm -hmm. Everything that we have put into the show is derived uh, first and foremost from scripture. We're, ne we're never trying to replace scripture. We're not trying to replace the Bible. Um, we're taking sacred scripture and uh, using it as inspiration to create a series that ultimately uh, we want to uh, bring people to Christ. That's, mm -hmm. that's the goal. I think the, the overarching goal of the series is to bring more people to Christ and to bring them to His humanity in a way that they may not have considered before. Um, there are so, there's been so much positive response to uh, getting to know uh, the disciples, getting to know Christ in a way that like they hadn't conceived or they hadn't seen put to film before. So episode one was essentially to set up the relationships between the people and the state, okay. um, what their, uh, the individuals, the disciples, uh, uh, you know, personal uh, struggles may have been yeah. living in that time. And you see that too. Yeah. It comes out very well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, we see Simon Peter as a fisherman and... Um, stubborn. Yeah. Stubborn, <laughs> hard-headed, brash, cocky. Uh, and then like when we build up to some of the areas in the show and some of the encounters with Christ that he has um, that we know from Scripture, um, the question, you know, a lot of the time is that disciples literally just dropped what they were doing and followed Christ. Mm -hmm. And there's only a couple of lines that talk about that. But then when you, when you think about it from um, a, a human perspective, it's like what could have created that strong of a force for them to say, I'm going to stop everything I'm doing and follow this man. Was it just his charisma or was, did, did all yeah. the circumstances of his life build into those moments? Now, Jonathan, I, how often do we hear those words, you know, come and follow me in the mm -hmm. scriptures, come follow me. Yeah. You know, and, and it, it kind of, it, it hit, I don't know, what was it like for you to say those words, playing Jesus, um, because it's powerful hearing it portrayed mm. and you and you saying it to you know James and John and you know Simon what was it like for you to say those words to another person follow me um, you know I, there's for me I have to uh, I have to kind of stay within the realms of of Jonathan okay I can never allow myself to think that I'm Jesus I'm being Jesus the, the, no one will ever know what it's like to be the Son of God, the perfectly sinless Son of God. We're right. human, right? right. Uh, I do know what it's like to be human, 100% yeah. human. So what I try to do in my preparation uh, for scenes like that mm. is empty as much of myself out to allow the Holy Spirit to come in and work through me through these lines. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, even in that preparation, a lot of what I do is there's... Most I do my research. Obviously, mm -hmm. I read scripture, uh, and then I, uh, I I I go to mass when we're on location. I try to find a church near our hotel, and I I specifically try to make sure that I can you know get confession and and get the and receive the Eucharist, mm -hmm. so that I'm filled up with as much of the Spirit as I can, so that when I'm saying these words, that I would never say as Jonathan that they'll have some divine sort of resonance. Um, yeah. being received by the, the folks watching the scenes. So um, for me, it's, uh, it can be, if I really think about what I'm saying, it's daunting. It's, it's completely overwhelming. And there was uh, one moment when we get to episode 
six um, when we're in Zebedee's house where that whole scene the start of filming that scene where you hear Jesus start to actually preach to crowds yeah uh, in reality uh, I, I was having a bit of an anxiety attack at the beginning of that day because the weight of these of Christ's words and his teachings all of a sudden just fell on me like a ton of bricks mm. and my first reaction was like I shouldn't be saying these words mm. me Jonathan I'm not worthy to be saying these words you know mm. and so we were moving from setup to setup and I and uh, and I said to to Dallas I said we can can I can we just slow down for a second because I'm really struggling right now. And he's like, yeah. what, what do you mean? And I told him, I said, I don't feel worthy to be saying these words. Hmm. And he said, he looked at me and he just, he said, he put his hand on my shoulder and he's like, none of us are worthy. Hmm. None of us are worthy, but we are here to bring this story to the world so that more people understand what Jesus did for hmm. us and who, he, who this man was. We're trying to get to who he was hmm. so that more people will have that encounter. And so that, to me, was like, that was a load off of my shoulders. And, and, and I prayed uh, more, and, and I just kind of took that in and remembered it's not, it's not me trying to, I'm not, I can't try to be Jesus, you mm -hmm. know. All I can do is be a, a servant to, to bring the gospel as a human to people. And it just happens to be in this way that I'm doing it. God has chosen me, excuse the pun, um, to, to, to play his son, <laughs> not to be his son, but to play his son so sure. that people may have that encounter in their own lives. And, uh, and the, f the feedback has just been overwhelming. We hope you liked this interview with Jonathan Roommate just talking about the Chosen series. Again, please download the app, watch the, the series. I've watched them over and over and over again just to really let them sink in. The, they really bring the Gospels uh, to, to life. Um, watch the rest of the episode on Life on the Rock, probably airing sometime in uh, September. But for next week, why don't you send us your comments, please? Send us your, especially questions. If you have any questions for any of us on any topic, send them to any of our social media outlets, whether Twitter or on YouTube or Facebook. Send us your questions and we'll answer them next week. Again, like us on this YouTube, subscribe to us, and share this video. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.